Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kanisha Slice and I'm so happy you're back here. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And yeah, so today I created this easy spring look with a pop of color. I hope you guys like this look. And of course, if you're interested, keep on watching. Let me know what you thought about this video and this look. In the comment section below and let me stop talking and get right into it <laughs> hey guys so I'm going to start with my foundation I already prepped and primed my face and I got myself a new foundation it's the NARS sheer glow foundation down on your neck too because you want the foundation to match as perfect as possible and blend in so. <laughs> I'm going to conceal my under eyes using the Maybelline instant age eraser in the color 06 neutralizer So to contour, I'm going to use this cream contour I have for <laughs> I've had it for a very long time and it looks crazy beat up but and I do not know which brand it is. I'll figure it out and I'll put it down in the description box. But hey, it works. So I'm taking a stippled brush like this and I'm lightly going in there. And I'm pushing my jaw forwards and I'm just doing like going like this and I'm letting the brush touch my natural dense but a brush like this it's going to blend easier So now I'm going to set my face using my Studio Fix powder and this is in the color NC42. I'm using just a powder brush and I'm lightly tapping it on my face. And to set your face you always want to set it with a colored powder and not a white one to avoid, avoid flashback. I'm going to put some banana powder. This is the luxury powder by The Makeup Revolution. And I'm just gonna put some under my eye. Just to brighten it up. And I'm using a small uh, beauty blender, tiny one like this. And now I'm going in with powder contour and I got this one it's the Miss Lynn beach beach please aloha all day bronzing and contour powder A angled brush my 
eyebrows. I'm using a spoolie. Yeah, I'm gonna brush them upwards. Go in with the same old pencil. This is the NYX eyebrow pencil in the color soft brown. The closer your brows are, the smaller your nose bridge is gonna look, so those are all the illusions you can create with makeup. So if you pull it closer, of course don't make a unibrow because that's just not it. But Okay, so now I'm going in with the black opal pow brow powder in the color medium mine looks rough because it goes a whole lot the, this product goes a long way so I got it for quite a while right now so ay, ay, ay. this amount of product to contour my nose I'm going in with the same beach please contour powder and I'm gonna take a fluffy brush something like this the excess off and start from the from under your brow and go downwards sponge and with some of the banana powder and you're gonna put it like this just to make leave just a small and thin line of your contour peeking out and the rest you're gonna put with the powder So now I'm going to go with the eye look and I think I'm going to go for a pinkish spring look. Um, I think I'm going to use my Naked Tree by Urban Decay palette and to start off I'm going to I'm using this Catrice eye primer. So I'm going to blend the eye primer with a brush like this. The I'm just gonna do a light pink look. Something that looks fresh. 
I'm going to use the shade um, Limit, this one as a transition color. And I'm using just a blending brush. color um, from the Born to Run palette with the same uh, blending brush I used for the transition color and I'm gonna go just excited for summer so done with the school year I need some time off from school and work and I really need some sun because I'm pale look at me never been this feeling you're going to do give me some ideas use this hell ride shade from the born to run palette and I'm using a more precise brush this is a small brush like this it's a little bit point pointy And I'm gonna go really low just here in my crease. Do not pick too much product on your brush because then it's gonna be difficult to blend out. And if you just take a little bit of product, it's easier to build up and blend. hard edges I'm gonna go in again with the uh, with the transition color I started with I almost dropped my palette <sighs> I'm gonna go in with the same transition color I used this, the, 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 the limit with the same brush Yeah. 
Yep. Okay. I'm thinking of... So I decided and I think I'm gonna go with the, the copper the copper shade. So I'm gonna use this one, ignite. a flat brush this is just the, the urban decay brush just to get in the corner and I'm gonna go in with the brush I used for the purple just to make sure so I'm using this electric vibes liner by essence and your girl's gonna line her little lash line gonna use this off tropic uh, eyeshadow palette yes and I'm gonna take this blue tap off tap off do not forget to tap off the excess This is the Sleek Makeup Dip It Eyeliner in Black. God be with me. And I'm keeping the eyeliner. <gasps> oh. Okay, I'm not gonna talk. foundation I got this tester this is a mascara from NARS and it's the climax peachy uh, blush I couldn't remember the name of the color but it's from the Mislin thingy okay. Good, I guess. Oh, and I'm using this brush it's like an angle brush but it's really fluffy darker blush something like this okay. yes. all over the apple of my arm my cheeks <laughs> and my fixing fixing spray Highlighter in the color Gold Addict. I'm gonna take a brush like this, and I'm not gonna put my highlighter up here, but I'm gonna take it here.
gonna use this LA Girl lip liner in the color Cabaret. And I'm gonna use this Golden Rose lipstick in the color Velvet Matte, but it doesn't say the color. It's the color 22. So yes, this is the final look.